I want to tell you a story about a wonderful legacy that emerged in 1983 when five England rugby players went to Dublin. To watch England in the final game of the Five Nations Championship against the Irish. The game was lost 25-15 and England finished last on the table. After the match in a Dublin bar surrounded by celebrating Ireland supporters. The five England supporters sought some consolation. Only for three of their Irish friends to present them with a wooden spoon as a memento of England's dismal season. Accepting the gift with good humour and grace, the England fans resolved to hold a golf match to see who would have the honour of keeping the wooden spoon. Just a few months later, the golf match was held and an astonishing sum of £8,450 was raised. The money raised was to provide a new minibus for a local special needs school, Park School. This was to be the first of many charitable projects that Wooden Spoon supported and continue to support today. From defeat in the rugby field and a tongue-in-cheek consolation prize, Wooden Spoon, the children's charity of rugby, was born. A year later, Wooden Spoon became an official registered charity. A decade later, a membership was created and the first million pounds was raised. 2003 will be remembered for that drop goal, but it was also the year that Wooden Spoon celebrated its 20th anniversary for the very first time raising over one million to support disadvantaged children. Good old Spoonie the mascot joined the team in 2010. Who can forget this year's Arctic Rugby Challenge, which set a Guinness world record? Since 1983, we have committed over £22 million in support of more than 650 projects and estimate that one million disabled and disadvantaged children have benefited as a direct result of our grants. Thank you for helping us make a difference through the power of rugby.